let's play The Sims 4 Dine Out Part 8 and Mr. Wu has had a big shock from Stephanie revealing that she is transgender and he has resorted to drinking a lot of wine and collapsing on the couch overnight uh, to deal with that. So Mr. Wu is obviously... He obviously has a little bit of a drinking problem, I'd say. So anyways, the kids are up. They've just found him uh, in here. And oh no, it looks like Clay's got chicken pox or he's not feeling too well. He's a bit sick. Oh no. And so is Antonia. Gosh, that rush looks nasty, girl. Uh, so they're, they're, there's a bit of sickness in the house. So I reckon Ali's like, dad has been asleep. Go to bed. Um, so we might... Put Mr. Wu to bed. I'm always hugging his daughter. That's cute. Um, we'll put him to bed up here. All the curtains drawn. It looks like we also have some neighbors here to invite in that he's trying to kind of greet probably still drunkenly. Um, so we might get uh, Ali who's been, I don't know, she's been such a great daughter you know she's meeting the neighbors she's putting her dad to bed while her dad's struggling and she's probably also going to get some medicine for clay and her little sister as well but i'm loving this girl this looks like a simley's creation chloe baker um i'd say i'm not sure but we've made a friend yay no don't leave us don't leave us don't leave us don't leave us <laughs> you could be our future friend she's a young adult how old are you Oh, she's a young adult too. I want to make some teen friends, but that's all right. Um, so, oh, Clay's better. What a quick recovery you had. Um, but little Antonia is still sick. So yeah, we might get Ali to order some medicine for her. It looks like there's wine glasses left all around the house from Mr. Wu's uh, drinking last night. So we might get Ali to clean up everything too. And uh, maybe Clay can actually, maybe Ali can tell Clay, can you please go order some medicine for Antonia? Uh, so let's go here. I think you can order on here, right? Order medicine. Um, so Antonia can get a little bit better. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at all the wine glasses. How much did you drink last night, Mr. Wu? It's terrible. Okay, so let's pop that there and get little Antonia to have... Oh, she can't drink that? What do you mean you can't drink that? Do you have to put it in your inventory to actually consume it? Oh, because she's better now. Well, that was a very short... Uh short sickness wasn't it i think today in this part of the lp i want to really focus on the sims feeling a little bit uh, more on top of their homework and feeling good about some friendships uh, i think it'd be good for them to make some friends so let's just get them to do their homework for starters and clay how are you feeling just hanging out with his sister who's uh his best friends let's do some homework at this stage anyways and how are you feeling? They're all in pretty good mood, so I'm pretty impressed with that. That makes me happy. In terms of relationships, there's not a lot going on for Clay and Ali. So I think these two really do need to get out and actually make some friends. Antonia does have her really good friend Bianca. Some of you guys were commenting it's pronounced Bianca. Some were saying it's Bianca, not Bianca. But I'm going to say Bianca because, I don't know, that's just what I want to do. Uh, meanwhile, Mr. Wu's sleeping it off. He's really struggling. Look at his struggle face. Struggle is real. He should shave. Uh, <laughs> all right. So these guys are just... Oh. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Although Clay was or does have an interest in Caitlyn, which is kind of cool. And Yuki is a teen. Yes. We have a teen to make friends with. Awesome. Let's get Clay to see Yuki. I'm hoping that that's a Simley's creation, but I don't know if it is. Uh, okay. Why? They've still got a bit of homework to do. I wish they would just kind of concentrate on their homework. I feel like Chloe Baker's really distracting them, but yeah. Oh, well. And in terms of grades, how are they doing? So, oh my God, Antonia's a little star. She's a grade A. 
She is awesome. Let's maybe get you to change your outfit to your everyday too. Oh, and we can give her a new outfit with the new kids stuff pack. Yes, let's do that. Let's go upstairs to her brand new bedroom because uh, we did move house in the last part if you guys haven't caught up yet and we'll be able to try on some new clothes from the kids stuff pack. Uh, the kids room stuff pack, sorry. And these guys should finish up their homework pretty soon as well. So that will be good. Alrighty, Antonia, I feel like it would be really, really sweet to change her hair up a little bit uh, for some of her outfits. She does have long hair that's worn in plaits most of the time, but why not use the new hair from Kids Room? Uh, this kind of suits her as well, and we can also use the hair up like this, uh, which kind of goes with this school uniform vibe. Let's just see what other options we have. Go to the kids stuff pack again. Uh, I do like her preppy look, so I don't really want to change this top. Although, yeah, you don't really wear sequins to school, do you? I like her looking like a school kid. I do, I do, I do. Uh, I wish this, I wish you didn't have to cl keep clicking on this. Uh... Oh, let's just ditch the preppy look for now. Let's just have a hair like this. Uh, maybe for the Barbie LP, we'll use this one for Ruby. All right, so she's got a best friend necklace on with a new little romper suit. Let's give her maybe uh, it in blue and we can take off those long socks and give her some, uh, whoops, go back to shoes. We could use the new shoes from the kids stuff back to these ones. Cool little sneaker sneakers. Such cool sneakers. Kind of semi high tops. Nah, they don't really suit this outfit. Let's just give her some, what would you wear with this? More sandals, I think. She can wear that and get around in that outfit. And then maybe, oh, I love this ombre top. I think this is so cute. So maybe we could go with, uh, she can wear some blues and purples. Although that goes really quite nicely with that little necklace. So maybe we'll do this one and then she can wear some, some new pants and just some normal shoes with odd socks. So cute. Uh, in terms of formal wear, full body, uh, there's not that much. What's going on here? Feminine kids room. Let's get rid of that. And for formal wear, she can wear this little sequins top with the new skirt, maybe. Mm. Where's that new skirt? Do, 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 do. Here we go. Although it doesn't really go. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, y'all. I feel like this is really hard to find something to go with it that looks nice. Maybe we'll just have to go with black and change this up to something with black in it. Oh, that's okay. It'll do, it will do. There we go. That can be a little formal outfit. Uh, we can keep her pajamas the same. Oh, we could have used this, but I don't know. I like her three different kinds of onesies. I think she looks so adorable in them. Her party outfit, we might keep the same because I really like that. I haven't actually used that for that long. Uh, and maybe we'll give her one more outfit to wear. Maybe we can give her this little crush, little crush tee because all the little girls are loving this guy, whoever he is. <laughs> And we can give her a little skirt as well. Uh, ooh, blue and purple. She obviously dressed herself today. <laughs> uh, I like the little 
black skirt because it's just like really simple and I love her old odd socks. Alrighty, there we go. That looks cute. Oh, I love the kids stuff pack. Everything's so adorable. I want all of my kids to have that little pop star t-shirt so all the little girls just love that kid, whoever he may be. Do, 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 do. Mr. Wu's still sleeping it up. It looks like Ali has... Honey, you gotta finish that homework, girl. Don't you dare try and put that down. And I feel like Antonia in her new clothes should uh, invite over her best friend. Oh, we could invite over it, Olivia as well, just for funsies. Okay, awesome. Clay has finished his homework. And how about he and Ali, once she's finished, they should totally go out on the town, find some friends. And that sounds good. We might go somewhere where they can get something to eat as well because Ali is pretty hungry. I'll just wait for Antonia's friends to come over and arrive. Uh, invite in. Yay, friends. Friends, that's what you want. Hey, Bianca. Is her other soon-to-be friend gonna come over? I didn't actually see that. Let's take a picture together. And look, they've got their matching friendship necklaces on. Aww. <laughs> so sweet. All right, so these guys can play here. Um, Mr. Wu in a terrible, angry mood. It doesn't seem like he's dealing very well with this new shock news of Stephanie, which is such a shame. Uh, and then, oh, Ali's already getting, in, getting into the food. And Clay is feeling flirty, which is just what we want. I mean, really. Oh, I love this little outfit. Okay. Uh, so where can we go? We need, we need like a teen hangout, which we don't really have here, which is kind of a shame. Uh, they could hang out at their restaurant, but that's kind of boring. Could go to the park. You know what? Let's go to the bluffs. Because the bluffs is cool. And we'll take Yuki there. And uh, maybe we'll invite Caitlin and we'll take Ali too. And they can like have their teen times together. That's good, it's good, it's good. All right. Hey, Yuki. She's so cool. I really hope she's a Simley's creation. I just don't know though. All right, hello. Are there other people here? I hope other people come here. It's not just a vacant lot when no one spawns. I guess Ali can hang out with Caitlin a little bit though. Talk about cooking. Damn it, I think I chose a lot that people don't spawn on. But that's okay. We can tell a little bit of a joke over here. Uh, no, let's not ask Cloud Gaze because I don't know how long or how quickly, rather, that makes their relationship go up. But she's super cute. I like her blue hair. I like how she's obviously maybe into music, potentially gaming. Gosh, attitude. Damn, girl. Seriously, we're just trying to be nice to you. She's probably like a moody chick that Clay is really crushing on. He's crushing on a lot of girls because he crushed on Caitlyn too. Ah, oh, I really want to find someone for Ali. We need to go somewhere where there's heaps of other people to interact with. Oh, Yuki, you did not just leave us. Please tell me. Oh, <gasps> Caitlin's an alien? Are you serious? Damn. Damn, girl. Where did Yuki go? Fine, let's just send a flirty text to her and see if she likes it. I can't believe Caitlin's an alien. I really didn't pick that. Oh, we could potentially have alien babies. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I was like, Kenazook. I kind of like Yuki. All right, I don't think this is a good spot for us to meet people, so let's move on. Let's move on to somewhere where there's always going to be heaps of sims, and usually at parks and stuff like that, there's a lot. I also feel like this map's really big too, so if we go to that area, there's a lot of room to move around and hopefully see people passing by, other sims, potential love interests. Da -da -da -da. Ah, here we go. Who's this? Sophia. 
That's not a Sibley's creation, I don't think. Oh gosh, she's in such a terrible mood. When did that happen? Oh, oh, yes, join. Hmm. I feel like we need to take care of his needs before he can successfully woo a girl. Hey, Bianca, I thought you were at our house. Well, we better bring Antonio here then. All right, she can play Space Explorer with her friends. And Ali is using the Lou too. The Wu Lu. Oh, cute. Little Lucas is here. Eight. Oh, this park is so beautiful. Are you a teen? We want teens. Damn it. Adult. Hmm. I mean, Ali could kind of become friends with Suki. I mean, at least introduce yourself, girl. And uh, acquired the logic skill. Nice one. Oh, we're all... Okay, so we're all gazing at the stars. Wow. Isn't that lovely? Or the sky, rather. And what are you doing? I know you guys love being friends with each other, but you need to explore others. Okay, maybe we'll introduce ourselves to this chick. And come on, Clay. Find your Suki. Oh, good. We can play chess with her. Maybe. Gosh, she's always on the move, isn't she? I'm just, she just doesn't want to stand still for a second. Ah, here we go. I don't know if I want an alien in this Let's Play. I don't know if this Let's Play should be realistic or become a little bit supernatural get to know why don't you like us she doesn't like us monkeying around with her oh well, we'll just try and get to know her. let's just get him telling some jokes about mines he's got a lot of confidence this guy doesn't he clay and it looks like a few of the ladies are interested in him uh moira you're a little bit older than him though i don't feel like that's quite right who's over here hello future friends Okay, Nyla, Pamela. I just don't feel like we've got many options. And where are all the Simley's creations? Why aren't they spawning in this world? I want to see them. Oh, poor Ali. She's becoming a loner. She's like got no friends. And it makes me sad because she's so awesome. And people just haven't gotten to know her. Come on, Ali. Let's... Asked to play chess with Suki. At least she can be friends together. Maybe Suki will get to, like, not get together, but get along with Suki better. Ali and Suki will get along. And then Clay might have, like, a massive crush on Suki, but never want to tell her. And he gets nervous around her, and she's just cruel to him. But secretly, she likes him. You know when you're mean to people you don't like? I don't do that. I mean, mean to people you do like. <laughs> Sorry, you should be mean to people you don't like. Uh, but <laughs> that's so funny. When you're mean to people you like, that seems to be a common thing. Clay so wants Suki's attention, just follows. Oh, look at him gazing at it. Hey, Suki, look what I could do. Oh my God, such a boy thing. Ali laughs at him. Suki's like, oh my God, get away from me. Okay, how's their relationship going? Very low, very low, uh, very low as well. Oh, she's a loner herself, so maybe Ali and her can get along because they're kind of both loners, potentially. Let's just, I don't know, make friends, be funny. Although she's she doesn't seem like she has a very good sense of humor, does she? <laughs> Tell an outrageous story. It's a funny story. Um, it's like that. He's like, notice me! <laughs> uh, Antonia, where you is? Girl, you should probably go home. You know, it's kind of late for you to be out at nine o'clock at night. I'm going to send her home. Because um, she's, she's just a little bit younger. She should go to bed a bit sooner. Oh, and Caitlin's like, Clay, pay attention to me. She's like that crazy chick who's just like, I need attention all the time from all the boys. She's got crazy eyes. She's crazy. She's jealous of Suki too, because she keeps looking at her, I think. 
All right, we'll get we'll have our own conversation over here for now. Uh, I like that they're kind of hanging out. You know, they've just moved, meeting some new people in town. That's always nice. Tell a funny story with Yuki. And I really want these guys to be friends. I just think that would be really nice. Moira, why are you creeping on all the teens? Give it up, Moira. Give it up. Give it. Ooh, potential friend. Hello. Oh, no, he looks a little bit serious. Who is this guy? Jeffrey Landgrab. Wow, he is out on the town tonight. Hmm. You know what? Mr. Wu should probably make friends with Jeffrey because they're both businessmen with a lot of money. They probably schmooze each other all the time. I eat. Awesome. Let's uh tell a funny story. Yeah, I just want them to have friends, you know. Oh no, he's stinking. He's going through awkward teen stage when you start to get BO and he doesn't have deodorant for it and he doesn't shower properly. I think it's time for these guys to go home because <laughs> he is starving and he stinks. Ali is kind of hungry and getting tired as well. So I'm going to send them home, see how Mr. Wu is doing. Alrighty, we are back at the Wu household. Oh, I love this new house. I don't know what it was with the other one. I just wasn't feeling it. What did you guys think of it? I don't know. Something wasn't quite right. Uh, but Ali's going straight to bed. She doesn't even want any food. And oh, it looks like Clay's put himself to bed as well. And Tony is just having a little cheeky taco. Girl knows how to treat herself. And Mr. Wu's just watching TV. Or he's going to watch TV. He's feeling a bit happier now. I reckon we're just going to get him to maybe have some junky food while he watches TV from the fridge. So let's have a quick meal. Maybe let's have like microwave pastry. That doesn't sound too good. Maybe just some chips. Yum. He should set, He should spend a little bit of time with his little girl. Oh, Antonia. Talk about toys. He should be telling her to go to bed as well. <laughs> Aw, talk about school. He is proud of this little girl, I think. Even though he doesn't spend a lot of time with them, his kids do give him happiness. <laughs> anyway, she should go to bed. Let's go up here and where is your bedroom? Let's ask Mr. Wu to spray the monster under the bed because she's scared of monsters. So he can go up and pretend to spray it for her. It's going to stop him from eating some chippies for a second. Oh, she's already got her own phone. So lucky. Kids are having phones these days. And I think she should follow her dad up. Oh, because sometimes there'll be a monster that comes out from under the bed. It's in a new patch, which is a lot of fun. It's like, no monsters now, Antonia. Time for bed. I think she could brag about her grades too, because she really wants attention from her dad, and he doesn't give his kids a lot of attention. It's like, Dad, you're going to be so proud of me. Can I have a party for my birthday because I've done so well at school? Maybe if you make sure you take out the trash each week and if it's not raining. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's put you to bed, Antonia. Have a sleep. And Mr. Weir, I'm glad you had some time with your family. And, uh... Yeah, I might finish this part of the LP up here. I think just before Mr. Wu goes to bed, because he seems to be changing his sleeping pattern quite a lot. I think he might make a drink. Um, just make his favorite drink and drink a little bit more until the next part. And just so you guys know, I'll be going to Queensland this week, uh, later this week. So the next few parts will be pre-recorded. Uh, so I won't be able to see all, all of your comments for the next two parts of this. But um. Well, I will be looking at them, but I won't be able to act upon them in the LP. So I will be reading and make sure you let me know what you want to happen next. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.